From my perspective, there's four levels of understanding farming. And people get stuck at each level. That's what I've witnessed so far in my journey. So I just wanted to explain all four of those and the downfalls of getting stuck in each one and, and how to progress forward. This isn't about me trying to brag and say that I'm at level level four or five, but it's um, I certainly think I've been exposed to a bit more a bit more depth in each area of this than a lot of people, and I and I've been I've just witnessed um, a lot of this go on. Um, so I don't know where I'm at, but I think I've got a good understanding of of where a lot of people are at and where. Um, where farmers get stuck in their evolution of of their business. Let's jump straight in with number one. Level one is what I call crutch farming. So there's always a crutch um, propping up the farm with uh, with businesses like that. Now, usually that's some sort of subsidisation. So like, well we had here in Europe um, a subsidy scheme for years and years where it was just based on a number of different things sometimes it was well it changed how much land you had how many animals you had how much you produced and then more recently it's moved towards more environmental support schemes so it's a subsidization of, of a business which I'm all for it's something I plan to um, make use of but it's when it's the crutch under the business that's a problem so that's why it's crutch farming. Um, this level one is unconscious, unconscious farming. It's doing what we've always done. It's doing what dad did, you know, doing what granddad did. It's not thinking about where you want to take the business and where you ne it needs to be taken in relation to current times. It's just going with the crowd, not consciously thinking about this business decisions. Uh, does that mean you can't make money in this? No, I think, you know, I think perhaps the majority of farmers in the last half a century have been in level one. Especially sort of post-war when those subsidies came in. A lot of people have just been, been uh, crutch farming. They've been just going through the motions, getting paid for their production, but they don't really know what they're doing. And before people started wrecking the, the soil too much, um, it was arguably quite easy to grow some crops and there were, grain has been you know subsidized and it's been very valuable for people. And depending on where you are in the world and the climate you're in, it's been really, I don't wanna say easy, but it has been easy at times to make a lot of money in farming. Not a lot, but it's been easy to make a profitable biz business. <laughs> So I think a lot of people have stayed in level one for a long, long time. I think that that has moved on. In, in most cases, I think it moved on a couple of decades ago, but still you get people stuck in that right now, level one. Level two, uh, this is production farming. This is where the focus is on how much production can I get off my farm, really. People either want to make the most beef they can per animal, or the most grain they can, um, if you're growing crops, or the most uh, the most uh, type of grain or seed or whatever you're growing. This is probably the most susceptible to people getting stuck in this level. This level is why certain products are so widely used, um, certain chemicals fertilizers and antibiotics or or um, fung fungicides herbicides wormers for animals these things are so widely used because of this level people get stuck thinking I'll use the example of cows because that's the industry I'm in if I have a cow people get stuck thinking how much beef can I put on this cow um, they think the cow is making me money, I need to maximize this cow. So that means pump it full of drugs. This is why they started using hormones in America and, well, all over the world. They got banned here in the UK, I think, uh, most of them. 
well, all of them, I don't think they're used at all, but you used to put hormones in, excuse me, cows to make them grow more, put on more beef. This is exactly this mindset. How much prof, profit and product, productivity, production, can I can I reap out of this animal or this um, this business? And people get stuck in this because it's easy to scale, and it is usually profitable for a certain period of time for people, or it has been in the past. You pump up the inputs and you um, you make a bit more money. Now moving on to level three of understanding farming. This is more of a conscious growing mindset. Okay, this is when farmers start to realize how their plants work and how to maximize the efficiency of those plants. So in a livestock farmer's perspective, this is when you see guys start to learn about the grass growth cycle or the different um, varieties of, of grasses they're growing or the way they're managing it. Rotational grazing starts to come in at this point. Um, it's conscious growing, it's being conscious about the decisions you make because you think your money comes from the grass, okay, which is a huge step up. Most people don't make it out of level two, okay? So it's a big it's a big step and usually people can leave this level and move on to level four pretty quickly. It lends itself to it. Um, but yeah, level three, conscious growing. So in a livestock farmer's perspective, that's actually putting the focus on the grass, which we haven't heard of before in level one or two. In, um, in an arable farmer or a crop farmer's perspective, that's putting the focus on the plant they're growing which it has been all along but this is a bit more of a conscious effort this is where you see farmers go down slightly more organic practices um, perhaps and it's just more conscious like I said it's more aware of the repercussions of their actions they maybe lower their chemical usage they switch their models around to be conscious growing and um, and hopefully they'll make more profit in the meantime. That's usually usually the outcome. And to be honest, most people move from level two, the production mindset, into the conscious growing mindset because they're forced to, usually because they're not making any money. That's the real shame of this, but at least it, at least it forces people to move on. Let's move straight into level four. So like I said, people, once they're in level three, conscious growing, they usually start to understand level four um, quite quickly that's what I've seen in people in farmers level four is understanding that your farm relies on soil and the reason it's easier to understand once you're at level three is because as soon as you start looking at plants you realize everything is about the soil you realize that any mineral deficiency any sort of deficiency or problem or or sort of bottleneck in the in the growing of your plants is usually related to the soil almost always so it's hard to skip from level one or level two to understanding soil but from three it, it is easier now that is that that's the peak really once you understand that people sort of you, you never really end your learning journey I don't think but people sort of reach the peak of the mountain there once they understand the soil because then you can work back down the other way and start integrating more knowledge about their growing, about their animals, and then about more maybe the uh, subsidization schemes that I first spoke about. You can integrate those things consciously once you understand that the business is based on soil. You know, that sounds like a, it's not just a metaphor, obviously you are based on soil physically, that's your farm. Um, but when you realize that your profit and everything is, comes from the soil, uh, that's a huge unlock and it really frees farmers into changing their business that's what I've seen that's level four that's the peak of it like I said you could say there's a level five which includes all four but I think once you've unlocked level four you're already there um, it's easy to go back then to each level and utilize that mindset if and when it's needed so that those are <clears throat> the four levels of understanding farming I want to reiterate I don't I'm not preaching the fact that I'm an expert in this um, I just think I I do have a good eye for judging people and their motivations 
and I think that's what I've in, in the people I've spoken to in the places I've visited and the progression of my own business I can um, I've become aware of these four levels of understanding where everyone sits where if it's serving them or not as well and you know maybe it goes without saying but I think that a progression up the levels is always beneficial always beneficial and don't get stuck is my advice like I said before a couple of times people get stuck um, just because they don't want to learn they get a bit um, disheartened with it and I mean you can't blame them at times farming is a seriously hard industry to be a part of just in terms of workload in terms of the seasonality of it and the and how hard it can be to make money if you're if you're caught in the wrong side of a of a price change or anything it's very it's very difficult you know I have I hold no grudge against these guys that I sit down with them and they're just disheartened you know farming never makes money why would anyone do this and you know it's no doubt that the young guys don't want to get into the industry with a mindset like that but you can see why because you know I can't I'm here I'm 23 years old and it's 2024 and it's I think a good position to be in to start farming you know you you, you go back go back a few decades and it was hard in a lot of ways for a lot of reasons yeah you know if you were getting subsidized and you didn't really have any incentivization to learn a bit more you'd get stuck and then suddenly they shift the prices globally on whatever you're growing it just wipes you out of the business um, yeah I'd probably be pessimistic too but that's my perspective and like I said I think I think I have genuinely seen all four of these levels and um, I've seen guys get stuck and I've seen some very motivating people that don't get stuck and they're pushing forward all the time so I'm trying to be in that camp definitely yeah so I hope that was interesting guys um, bit of a weird concept but hope it makes sense to a few people and yeah thank you for watching drop a thumbs up on the video if you if you found that interesting or you learned something and we'll be back so stay tuned see you on the next one